Hey, this is Rick and welcome to another unboxing review. I've gone ahead and I've removed the outer plastic on here for video purposes to make it go a little easier. This is the N300 model by TP-Link. It's a Wi-Fi range extender. It has power pass-through so you don't tie up the outlet when this is plugged in. It's got external antennas on it, intelligent signal indicators, find the best location for your range extender. It's got LED lights on it and they will show up no connection, good connection, too close to the router, or too far away from the router. This is the TLWA860RE model. What I'm trying to do is get a signal down to my TV in the basement for a streaming box. You can set this up for computers, tablets, mobile phones, and also game consoles. So that's the external part of the box. It has a TP two-year warranty on it and they have 24 hours a day tech support, unlimited tech support. You can purchase these on Amazon as well as eBay. And here's the unit here. It's not very big. It's just a little bit larger than probably a, a pack of cigarettes. Here's the plug. This is for American plug. Here is the Ethernet plug-in port. The rest that comes with this is the Ethernet cable. Look like resource CD for drivers if you need them. Quick installation guide. And that's it. So we'll take off the plastic off the arms here to protect it. Pull that off. Looks like the antennas just swing forward like that. They lock out. Take off this outer protection here. And that's it. Now, according to the box, when I read it real quick here, it says that it has a one step easy to touch setup. So you would press the WPS button on your router if you have that, and then the lock button on your extender to get set up in seconds. So to register this to your router, you're going to go ahead and press the lock button and also the WPS button on your router. So to make this process easier, I've already gone ahead and I've set up a power adapter where I can just go ahead and plug the extender in and then I'll go right to my modem router and we'll go ahead and we'll set it up. So according to the instructions, we're going to go over to our router. I do have a WPS button, so I'll push that in right there. It's blinking on the bottom there. I'll come back to the lock button on the side here, and we'll press that right there. You can see the buttons there blinking. So now if you can see that, we are locked in. Try to zoom in here, bring it up. It says it has the internet signal locked in here, and it also is lit up here. It's connecting to the wireless router. That's not lit up in the middle because the Ethernet port isn't plugged in yet and it's not supplying signal to the device that we want to plug into. So we'll go ahead and do that. Alright, so now we're down in the basement and I've got my device hooked up without the extender plugged into it and I'm going to show you what the regular speed is. Now throughout my house um, I'm only pulling about 12 megabytes per second which is enough to do streaming and surf on the internet just in Wi-Fi. So this is just Wi-Fi coming into my streaming device and we'll click it. And it's so bad it's not even picking up anything. I've clicked it several times now and the signal is awful. So what I'll do to show you is here's my cell phone and I'm going to go ahead and set it up with this so you can see it. Now we're only pulling in around five. It's actually dropping off now even more than that. Leveled off at 3.92 megabytes per second on the download and 1.9 well 2.06 on the upload so that's what we have before we install the device I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the cable for the Ethernet port onto my streaming device so as you can see there there is my streaming device 
and I have a plug outlet right there and I'm going to go ahead and plug in my Ethernet port into the streaming device and also into the power outlet. So now I've got the Ethernet port plugged in. You can see it going into my streaming device. So I downloaded another speed test program. This is um, by Comcast, which is who my internet provider is. The other one just seemed to mess up on my device, which was my streaming box, but it was fine on my phone. Went ahead and we activated it. Hopefully that's showing up okay. So I had a download of 11.53 and an upload of 18.77, which is pretty darn good. So this device definitely worked. Um, just so we can see it again, I'll go ahead and test it again. So I'm going to go ahead and test this again. Hopefully that glare from the camera isn't too bad. And you can see on the bottom there 11.60. On the download speed which was megabytes per second and the upload speed came out to 19.74. It's pretty good down here in the basement then. So that device definitely works. There it is. It's all lit up. So you can see that it was working. Um, that's my review. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Please share it. Um, check out Amazon or eBay for this product. Go to the website and research it. TP link. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. Take care.